point, let's imagine ourselves zooming along the fast lane on the road to the crown, and we are about to reach a toll gate where only 15 Beanie Beanies can go through. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now about to announce the top 15. I guess, again, handing us the envelope is Mr. Aris Malantik, partner of SGV and Company. Thank you, sir. Here it is. Who's gonna make the top 15? Can we hear you, Araneta? Who are your bets for tonight? And can they make it to the top 15? We'll find out right now in random order. The first Bini Bini to make the cut. Zamboanga City, April, May, short. I don't have any organizations with me. I really love giving school supplies with my own resources. Even nung nag-work na ako with my own salary and bonus, yun talaga yung ginagamit ko. As a Binibini Pilipinas candidate, I would love to use this platform to broaden the scope of education and with the help of my friends and to support education. Congratulations! Tumagete! Joanna Carla Saad! Ever since before even I joined the world of pageantry, I am already involved in my chosen advocacy. And this is protecting women against violence and harassment through immense talk and therapy. And now that I am in Binibini, I am hoping that I will open this to a larger scale and open your hearts to those women. And I know with Binibini, I am not alone. Take your spot, Magindanao, Rasham Saeed. I'm half Filipino, half Pakistani, raised as a Filipino Muslim woman. I'm an advocate for gender equality and woman empowerment through entrepreneurship and education. Growing up as a Muslim woman, I have experienced several barriers put upon me by people who make assumptions about my religion and about my faith. And I'm here to show that I'm a fresh face, a fresh voice for the most underrepresented people from our community. You made it to the top 15. Bataan, Maya Patricia Hantanong. My dad is a lawyer, and I idolized him as I grew up. And although he didn't explicitly tell me that he wanted me to follow his footsteps, the influence was still there, so I did. And now I've passed the bar, and I will take my oath on June 13th, where I will become a full-fledged lawyer. And what I really want to do is to be a lawyer advocating for justice. And I don't mean just justice for my clients, but also social justice. I want to fight for the marginalized and the underrepresented groups, and I want to be the voice for the voiceless. Take your spot, Pampanga, Emma Marie Tiglau. I'm a model and a host, and this journey is very important to me because it gives me a chance to voice out my advocacy on the plight of the less fortunate and abundant children. This charity, I've been doing this for five years. In Pampanga, I'm helping abundant, impoverished, and less fortunate. The future of our country lies to these kids. They just need to be loved and encourage them to dream for a better life. Congratulations, Laguna! because I want to challenge myself and I want to empower myself too. And believe it or not, when I was younger, I used to be bullied because of my looks. And because of that, I want to prove myself that I am capable and I can do anything I want to. And I want to tell everybody that bullying is an issue that we should all be concerned about. 
because bullying is never okay. So join me in this journey to fight and to be the face of victory against bullying. Give it up for Cebu City, Samantha Law. Over the years as an ESL instructor, I've learned that reading, comprehension, and writing is not just a power, but it's a basic human right. As my advocacy, I want to not only encourage, but educate and emphasize the importance it is for people and young adults and children to be able to read, to write, and comprehend. Because without it, people don't have the power or control over their life. They don't have the power to make choices in their everyday life. And I think that is so important for them. Congratulations, Malabon, Jessica Manasigan. So I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California, and I've been living in the Philippines for four years now. Back home in the States, I had an opportunity to venture out of my comfort zone, and the next thing you know, I was living in the Philippines. I'm very family-oriented, and before living out here, I knew nothing about living on my own or even how to take care of myself or pay for my own bills. So four years later, after many hardships and trials, I continue to keep pushing myself and my love for acting here. I guess you can say I appreciate the Philippines so much because it helped me grow into the independent woman that I am today. Congratulations also to Pasig City, Maria Andrea Abesamis. At a young age of nine, my love for the arts has profoundly been seen in me through my drawings and also my skills. I have graduated with a degree of fine arts major in painting and this has honed me to be who I am today and what I love to do most. As an artist, I believe that this can empower, enable, and also inspire a lot of people, or anybody at least, especially the youth and the vulnerable members of society. Congratulations, Marikina! After graduating college, I decided to pursue my dream to be a model. This job led me to work in different cities in Asia, and it is with my travels that I grew a love for food and nutrition. So now I'm trying to put up my own vegan restaurant and put up food banks to help the community. Give it up for the beautiful island of Palawan, Samantha Bernardo. I am an advocate for malaria control and elimination. I am working with Philippine Movement Against Malaria and Department of Health, and together we aim for a malaria-free Philippines by 2030. This is really something close to my heart because 73 out of 79 cases of our country's malaria come from my hometowns Palawan and Batak tribe. And that is why, as a true Palawanya, I am ready to beat malaria. Congratulations! Sorsogon, Maria Isabella Galeria. I've seen the struggles of the victims of mental illness and I've been with them throughout their journey towards their recovery. I want to put emphasis on the importance of mental health because I believe that mental health is as equal as important as physical health. I want to use this platform to educate people for the correction of the negative stigma towards mental illness. Give it up for Negros Occidental Vicky Russian. Being an actress, I portray different roles, but my most favorite role is being a loving sister to my brother Kian, who has Down syndrome. People with Down syndrome deserve as, just as much love, respect, and acceptance as everyone else. I am more prepared this year. This time, it's not all about me. It's, it is about my advocacy. It is about the, the kids with Down syndrome that I want to help. I am strengthening my advocacy to help them to further strengthen my advocacy with the help of Binibining Pilipinas Organization. Take your spot, Talisay Sipo Gazzini.
My experiences with my grandparents has opened my eyes to the realities being confronted by our elders in our community. And as a Binibining -bini Filipinas candidate, I would like to take lead of bringing or shedding the light to their issues and concerns that are usually being set aside and equal to giving them the good quality of life. This is not just about simply doing the right things, but most importantly, this is about reciprocating the love. You may now take that last spot. Give it up for Maspate, Hannah Arnold. I am a forensic science graduate and an online English teacher. I feel very blessed to have this degree and I believe that every child deserves the same opportunity to have quality education. The reason I believe this is because if they're motivated, then they will be able to choose what dream and career they want. So I'm spearheading this through the distribution of school supplies. I believe that with a book a child can read today and with a pencil they will write their own future tomorrow. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, this year's top 15. Each of them still has the chance to be in the winning circle and bring home a crown. So let's all wish them congratulations and good luck. And coming right up, it's the most anticipated round and every year's talk of the town. A battle of beauty and brains in the question and answer round. It begins right after these messages.